Okay, this is the test three bonus question. I'm sorry, not bonus. This is test three number two. Okay, let's solve it. It says, here's a matrix. Find the value of K. So A has a non-trivial null space. Remember the null space? The null space is all vectors X where A times X equals zero. That's the null space. Of course, x equals 0 is always in the null space because a times 0 will be 0. That's called a trivial null space, but does it have more? Well, really what we just have to do is just find all solutions to this. And to make sure it has a non-trivial null space, we have to make sure there's at least one free variable. So for non-trivial null space, we need a free variable. Okay, now, note, I should mention this. If A happens to be square, there's a shortcut. There's a shortcut. If the determinant of A equals zero, A is singular and must have a free variable if you solve when you solve ax equals zero okay but this a is not square it's not square if you look at it it's four rows and three columns so you can't use this shortcut here but it's okay we, we can just do it this way we need to make sure that there's a free variable. So let's try to solve this. How many x's? Okay, we solve this the way we always solve it, use an augmented matrix. You can always solve that, you don't need it to be square. I think this will be the x1 column, the x2 column, the x3 column, the equal sign. Right? So, we have to get this in real life on formal. It looks like if we do R1 plus R4, that'll help. It'll give me 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Still not in real life on form yet. So let's do negative 2 R2 plus R3. That'll, that'll make this 2 a 0. Okay, so, all right, we get a new R3, right? Zero, negative two times one plus two is zero. Negative two times negative two is four plus K, four plus K, and anything times zero plus zero is zero. Okay. So, look at this. We, um, that looks a little strange. This is the one in this negative two right here, right? So we have we have a sorry, I miswrote that. That should have been a one here. This one here. So we have a one there, a one there, and a four plus key here. It's in row echelon form now. We're, we're ready. So so notice if four plus k does not equal zero, we have three pivots. No free variables. And then if you have no free variables, you only have a trivial null space. So we need 4 plus k to equal 0. If 4 plus k equals 0, then this is 0. And we get a free variable. 
right? Because you would be missing a pivot. If you have a free variable, you have infinitely many solutions. Non-zero solutions. Of course, that means that means k would equal negative four. That's the answer. K is negative four would give you non-zero solutions, non-trivial solutions. That's it.